It's now half past nine at night and we're on Mount Fuji, which we're about to climb in the dark. What's it? Has he just been to the... Uh, so you can take folks back home? <laughs> Jeff, where's the other box? Yes. Where's the other box? It's great. It's so It's Oh, oh dear. <laughs> That's got a bit hard. Oh, oh sorry, I'm going to your way. <laughs> Hello. There's Tim with his coffee and Hello. 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 <laughs> Are you recording? I might be. <laughs> You've got to take a picture of yourself, mate, with something like that in your pocket. <laughs> this is Neil with his flashing light. Neil. Move your arm, Neil, so that he flashes all over the place. Yes, sir, I understand. Everybody has different degree of, you know, we stay in the thing. I said, they will do it. The ones that can, they work to a certain point and they wait for the ones that can. The ones that cannot, once they get to that point, the ones that can't take off again. That will always make sure your team come up. Morning. Oh, no, 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 Crazy people around here. It's just gone half past five in the morning. We're now on top of the world. And it's taking us, how long has it taken us to get up, Luke? Um, set off at about ten. So, seven and a half hours to climb the biggest mountain in Japan. We're not at the top yet. <laughs> no. There's a bit more, I'm afraid. <laughs> There's, there's a bit more up there somewhere, I really don't want to face it. <laughs> I have never done anything so difficult in my life. And just to make it worse, three of those hours are spent standing behind all those people. It seems that all of Japan wants to climb Fuji at the same time. Saturday night. Saturday night, Sunday morning. Rank stupidity, if you ask me. Don't think I'll do that again. I'll just... I'm just waiting for my uh, helicopter to get me home now. That'd be nice. It's not bad, though. This is an uh, Oreo chocolate pie, which was packed about uh, 3,800 metres lower than we are now. And because of the, uh, the lack of atmosphere up here, it's the uh, sealed packet has uh, inflated a bit. Oh, sorry, a bit of an insect there. <laughs> uh, in case you're wondering, this is the busiest mountain top in the entire world. There are literally thousands of people, and the noisiest, yeah. Literally thousands of people, and uh, and Jeff have uh, made the long trek up to the top for no reason whatsoever. Off in the distance, you can see uh, some mountains, which are far, far beneath us in the cloud. Isn't that nice? To continue the Oreo chocolate experiment. The foam filling has uh, also expanded to approximately uh, one and a half times its original thickness. <laughs> I'm going to stop now. A little bit of geology. That's volcanic rock. This is a volcano. It's very old. It's very big. Thank you. <laughs> 
Altitude. <laughs> yeah, it takes off and lie down. <laughs> so, Bob, tell us how the altitude's affected your hair. Not too sure, really, but it's the best growth ever <laughs> I've had for my hair. I was going bald, but I'm cured. <laughs> Wonderful. You're going to stay up here long? Well, yes. I need, I need a trim. I, well, if somebody wants to see me in long hair on a date, I'll have to bring them up here. I need some 70s clothes. Oh! Oh! Hey! I turned into 70s hip dude. <laughs> or has he? Answers on the postcard, please. How high are we, Tim? 3640 on this, but I reckon it's about 90 metres out. Going on the side post. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right the climb up was a mixture of very big rocks, very small rocks, and volcanic ash, which made it a little bit tricky in the climbing stakes. And it stinks. Every few metres on the way up, or every hundred metres, there's a station which includes a sleeping accommodation, food and drink, and a toilet. Now, when you say station, um, <laughs> it wouldn't be a train station, otherwise we would have cheated <laughs> many times. Not, not a train station, just a shack on the side of a volcano. With an outside toilet. With an outside toilet open to the air. So every and couple of hundred metres, or every half hour, you have the wonderful stench of an open sewer despite the fact you're 10,000 feet up on a volcano. It's magnificent. Not a place in the world like it. Probably with good reason. Matthew's on his way over. There he is. He's over there. It's so nobody loses me when I'm skiing. It's quite cold. Already cold. In case you're wondering, I do have a telephone signal up here, despite the fact we're 4,000 metres above sea level. Only in Japan. Yummy! <laughs> Here we have a very large and very volcanic hole in a very big rock, otherwise known as a crater. Right at the very top of it is uh, what appears to be Dr. Evil's secret lair. Well, it's not that secret because there's uh, several thousand people who have come along to see it. Descending the mountain is rather faster than climbing it, mainly thanks to this wonderful scree slope we have running down all the way to the ground. At uh, the ground, ground level, sea level, whatever you may call it. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit tricky, very soft, very deep, very abrasive, as I found out by falling in it. And it seems to run all the way down to the distant car park, which is nice. So we should be there within the next couple of hours.